Oh my gosh. Did you see that slap fight that just started? Carlos in the back walking around with his chonies. guys it's coffee and today we're back playing the sims 4 descendants challenge well it's not really a descendants challenge this is a asylum challenge but you know anyways um we are picking up right where we left off mal or mal is currently painting another painting because that's what she needs to be doing for her life and let's go ahead and catch up with everyone and see what they are doing i believe benjamin is in here having a grand old time in the bath sorry to interrupt your privacy sir but he is hopefully not so playful he will die um it was funny people actually in the comment section let me know that for my princess asylum that we did a few years ago um they let me know that i was really fortunate apparently that none of my sims died uh apparently that's like really common in these series that the sims just die i hope that doesn't happen with any of them but you never know looks like evie is cleaning up it looks like jay is eating or about to eat jay is like so beautiful uh what the computer room seriously nobody's in there i'm kind of shocked i'm shooketh uh ben is out of the bath let's see it looks like we have lonnie nope uh harry is sleeping uma is sleeping and lonnie is sleeping and i think that's everyone oh no where's carlos he is also sleeping. See, these Sims are smart. Because to me, this is like the hardest part is the Sims just constantly falling asleep. So they're smart for going to bed. Like that's that's genius of them. Looks like Ben is maybe about to go and do the same. Oh, look, Uma just woke up. Hey, girl. Hey. All right. We're going to go back downstairs. Mal, did you or Mal, did you finish that? Oh, this looks really good. Uh, we're going to sell that because we need the money, hussies. Uh, we are poor af and when those bills come in we don't really have a lot so i don't think the bills will be outrageous but you never know um no not take a bill bath i want to do a pop art painting we'll just do small we're gonna work on smaller paintings right now i think oh what oh i might have accidentally clicked on that first my bad let's go ahead and speed through this one because i think we've actually seen this painting already like, I'm pretty sure in the series she painted one of these, like, I don't even know, yesterday, the day before. Who can really say? <laughs> All right. I think my main focus today is, let's see, what do, what do we have to do here? Paint three or sell three paintings to the collector uh, and complete three emotional paintings. So I think we're going to sell the three paintings to a collector. We're going to do that right now to get that out of the way. And then as long as Evie is awake, I think we're going to attempt to try to become really good friends with her. I think I want to make us enemies with Uma. Like, I think that's just a given. And oh, some of you guys also let me know that Uma should be the chef because her mom has the restaurant and I totally forgot about that. So uh, thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate it. The only thing I would say, oh man, we could go to GeekCon together. Uh, we're not going to because honestly we're trapped in the asylum and one the rule of the asylum is that you have to uh you have to take everybody with you if you go out so that would just be a huge mess and i already know that so let's not say we did um also okay so Uma, the reason I may not make her the cook, even though she's already in here doing stuff, uh, I may not make her the cook because I feel like she's in here at her own will. And so, like, why would she come here and all? I don't know. Maybe she would cook. Maybe it would give her the comfort of home. Maybe that makes more sense than I think. Uh, so, all right. All right. All right. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I will make her the cook. What are her traits? 
She is materialistic and not. Are you kidding? Can I edit that? Okay, so I did go ahead and give her the foodie trait. That took some finagling. MC Command Center, as far as I know, doesn't have an area where you can just edit their traits. If it does, I'm just blind. I look through like every freaking setting trying to find it. So now she has the foodie trait, so that should actually help with the cooking, which is great. Uh, we will not make Jay the cook. <clears throat> I just think that that really does make more sense. You guys were totally right. So let's go ahead and finish. Not this. Oh, I clicked on her. My bad. So we will have to click on Uma periodically to have her cook. But other than that, it'll be good to go. Um, as far as like not clicking on other peeps. Is that it? No, that's okay. I was like, that's your finished painting. Girl, I could paint better than this. What is this? And why are there like lines in it? Do you guys see that? Maybe it's going to get better at the end. Let's see. Girl, you're pondering this painting for way too long. There we go. It does get better. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell this to a collector and we'll see. Okay. So we got that done. We still need to do the three emotional paintings, but for now, no, no, no. Where's Evie? Where did Evie go? Oh, look, Uma, a girl after my own heart. She, look at her thinking about this coffee. Like, ugh queen she's such a queen i i always love the evil characters though it's not even a joke they're my faves evie did you come upstairs and go to bed is this evie no that's lonnie where is evie hold on i am gonna click on her just to see where she okay she's throwing stuff away i was like are you trying to leave girl because that is not allowed uh let me go ahead we're gonna talk about our dreams we're going to describe a new idea we're going to uh ask about her day more choices friendly uh discuss color theory what's this chat with uma what she wants to do that on her own free will uh -huh. this i need to see hold on let me <gasps> is she thinking about woohooing with her are you kidding is this budding romance budding romance happening what this is interesting <laughs> Zerks. All right. So I'm going to try to get them to be friends. Where is their relationship right now? Let's take a look right now. So we are in the, we're in the good, which is always good. Just look at her freaking seething over that fire. She crazy. All right. Get to know. Let's, uh, I saw an option for gossip in here too. Gossip. Which I believe there's always an option for gossip. We'll talk about our dreams again. We'll tell a joke about engineers. Uh, we'll propose a crazy scheme. Let's... Uh, solid option for hug. Deep conversation. All right. We're actually going to speed things up just a smidge. Um, we're not going to cloud gaze because I do that all the time and I'm kind of over it. Express admiration. Can you express admiration for somebody and have it not be romantic in The Sims 4? So I'm actually really not sure. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I hope that doesn't like make her mad. Tell an engaging story. Wait, no, come back. Oh, does she have to go to work? No, wait, she's tired. So we made some progress. We also need to try to get together with Benjamin at some point. I think we also need to make enemies with Uma, which I think I said that earlier. So we could actually try to work on that, even though Uma like totally wants to let's be honest with us, <laughs> which is really interesting. But we're going to go ahead and come over here. I think it's really easy in this game to make enemies for some for some reason. So we're going to go ahead and... Shout forbidden words. We're going to yell at. We're going to argue. Oops, I think I said like, what did I say about argue? Or argue about music, which that's something to be passionate about. If you're going to be passionate about something, I'm just saying. All right, let's see how this is going to see how this is going to unfold. Oh, snap. She is calling her every name in the book. And then smiled about it. You demented girl. Oh, Evie is back there taking out her frustration. Oh, no, that's Lonnie. It's back out, out there taking out her frustrations on the cooking. Oh, she looks so wounded. This is sad. 
<laughs> Evie, <laughs> I love how Evie just sat down and like the look on her face. She was so happy. Girl, what are you doing? All right, we're just going to keep being mean to her. Mock her outfit. You're dumb. You dress like a pirate. More choices. Mean. Imply her mother is a llama, even though we darn well know her mother is a witch of the sea. Insults. Uh, more choices. Mean. Jeer. More choices. Mean. Uh, we'll shout forbidden words again because that was pretty funny. I love that. The shout forbidden words. I think they are so funny that they do that now. Uh, she said no bay please it sounded like she said no b-i-t-c-h a please <laughs> oh my goodness i'm just watching this unfold <gasps> now we're getting some uma characteristics she just yawned at us was like Ugh, your insults are so not worthy of my time so, what? Are you guys talking like your friends now? What the heck? What? That's weird. Alright, come on, ladies. So, wait, are we. We're still acquaintances. They could... What? Oh, she just implied Mother was Lama. Why is everybody coming to this table now? Carlos is here too, drinking coffee. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Um, insults. More choices. Mean. <gasps> Let's fight. Oh my gosh, please. Can we fight her? Please let us fight her. I mean, I think she could probably take us. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But like, this I need to see. This I need to see. I need it in my life. Oh my gosh. Did you see that slap fight that just started? Carlos in the back walking around with his chonies. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Why do they become like 800 feet tall? I mean, I know they jump on each other, but like, what the heck? <gasps> I think Maul's gonna come out. Oh no, I think she lost the fight. I think Uma actually got it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Their bar is full. They are not friends. What is this? Despise. Things have gone away with this relationship. Can it be salvaged? holy crap girl go take a cold shower go yeah go actually cold shower isn't an option why don't you go take a bubble bath like girl you need to go calm down don't talk to uma anymore she is actually the worst you're not friends go on go calm down with a bath she's all dazed oh wait did she not do it did she not do what i said what the heck is somebody in here Oh, she went to the bathroom first. Go take a bubble bath. Oh, he's in here. That's why. Is it Ben? Oh, Ben. I love that him and Carlos have matching undies. That's adorable. <laughs> Friendship goals. <laughs> you know your best friends when you have matching underwear. I'm just saying. Okay. She seems pleased with herself. Like, pleased as punch. Look at that face. She seems fine. All right. Let's go check up on everybody else. See how everybody else is handling things. Carlos. Carlos, why are you victory posing? No, he's doing sit-ups. He's like, I'm going to win this asylum challenge. Don't you even worry about it. Even though there's no winning in this. Like, you can't really win except for, like, Mal is the only one who can actually win. Okay. Uh, so Uma's like, gotta wash that nasty fight off my hands. Uh, I think she's going upstairs to go back to bed. She probably could use a nap right now. It's a good idea. Jay was just looking at Uma like, hey, girl, hey. That could be interesting. Interesting dynamic. I would love to see them actually progress a little more. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comment section. Does anybody know if MC Command Center lets you use story progression in your household? Like, does it have to be on random households or can it be in your household? Okay, it looks like Uma's taking a nap. That's probably wise. No one's asleep, though. Evie, I think, just woke up from a nap, potentially, because she just came out of that room. Oh, look. People are going to work. Oh, no. I think Uma's supposed to... Oh, she is going to work. Okay. Is everybody going? They're all supposed to be going to work right now. Uma is not going to be having it. Like, she is going to have a bad day, and Carlos just left. I think everybody actually went to work so we're gonna focus on mal and see what she needs it looks like she really needs to go to the restroom she really needs to get some sleep 
Um, let me flip this camera around. Okay, she's already going to the restroom. Um, she needs hunger, fun, and sleep. So let's go ahead. We'll come out here. We'll open this. Um, there is a yogurt in here that we can eat. So we'll go ahead and eat that. Um, and we may actually cook something because uh, Uma's not here to cook for us. I mean, we could make that part of the challenge that like the cook has to be here to make food, but then we're just constantly keeping people away from the fridge and that's annoying. We could just make the rule that Mal's not allowed to eat unless Uma cooks. Um, I could try. I'll try my best to make that a reality. Oh my gosh, look at all these. These uneducated swine. Do you see these like full AF coffee cups? Who leaves the table and doesn't take their coffee with them in either a to-go mug or drink it all? Like, are you kidding right now? Are you kidding? Ugh, money down the drain, down the drain, down the drain, the beautiful, beautiful drain. <sighs> Girl, just eat your yogurt in peace. Calm yourself. She still dazed from that fight. All right, come on, eat your noms. There we go. Ooh, that was like one bite and she was just done. Dang Gina. Okay. Um, that's filled. Her fun, though. What can we do for fun? I'd kind of like to let her have some fun before she goes to sleep. Because when she's asleep, nobody's going to bug her. You know what I mean? So we're going to go play a game. Let's go ahead and play Sims Forever. Because who doesn't want to play The Sims? Like, let's be, let's be honest. Everyone play The Sims Forever. Is the sink broken? That's weird that she would go into the bathroom sink to wash that. It's probably not wise. Like, wouldn't you be putting, like, food revenants down your bathroom sink? Like, there's no garbage disposal. I'm just saying. Um, street fight. Uh, let it slide. Okay, her fun is full now pretty well. We're going to go ahead and go upstairs and have her catch some Z's. I'm going to take the double bed because I like to be as rude as possible in this series. And so if somebody comes home and wants to go to sleep, I want there to be less bed spots because I'm rude. I mean, technically, no, I don't think Evie and her even have the strength of a relationship to sleep together yet. So like actually sleep, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and send her off to bed. So this household is like amazing and something fierce because they literally all just got promoted. I don't know what is happening. They also all stand here for a little bit once they get home. Like literally all of them stand here for a good like sim hour or two until they all decide to move. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what that's about. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can fast forward them to move. But I don't know why they do this. I don't know why my game like gets borked and acts like this, but it makes me a little insane. Oh no, Evie got her booty in the air. She is Dunyan rings. Girl, you almost got hit by a car. What are you doing? Oh, it looks like everybody pretty well has gone inside. I think it's because they all come home at the same time. And so the game gets like a little confused. Uh, Mal is still asleep. So that's what she be doing right now. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Camera. Stop it. Sorry, my camera was being crazy. All right, let's see. So it looks like Ben, oh, he was playing computer games. Evie's probably going to go up and try to grab a bed, which would be wise. Aw, Carlos. Carlos is like the sweetest little precious cinnamon roll in this game. He is probably like the nicest in my opinion. He just does what he wants. He usually sleeps at an appropriate time. He sits and he reads. He is just this precious little cinnamon roll and we love him. And it's funny because I think the last end screen we ended on him, but we're going to end on him again today. But anyways, you guys, I think that's all we have time for in this episode. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this series. I've really been having a lot of fun and enjoying it. So I hope you guys are too. And also please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I I am Coffee YT and over on Twitch where I am just Coffee and I will see you guys in a future video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye guys.